Scott Ryan here and in this video I just want to show you some examples of the burnouts is what they're called as Dr. Ehrenstein calls it uh, out of homes that have uh, these burnouts that have occurred right in homes here in Calgary now these pictures are actually ones that I've seen myself handle myself and indeed have in my possession at least most of them uh, these particular burnouts occurred behind the walls of people's houses so they're very evident and they're uh, very troublesome when you look at them, I know. Uh, now, none of these actually lit the house on fire and, uh, well, and the reason why you can tell that is because they are still here. If they did indeed catch fire and ignite, uh, which they've done in several homes, including one down in Parkland in, in Calgary here, that actually set the house afire, at least in the attic, it caught fire and the fire department got there quicker uh, then the fire could burn the this, the uh, the roof of the house, and then of course the rest of the house with it. They got there just minutes before the attic and the or the roof caught a flame. They had to replace it. The insurance company had to replace the entire roof uh, because it was burned enough. It was burned badly enough that that had to happen. So these burnouts are very very uh, devious because they are hiding. They're hiding in the walls, in behind uh, your walls where the connections are occurring with your light switches with your outlets or your plug-ins, your lights, uh, or any other electrical connect connection within the house, be it with other wires or what at whatever have you in the home. Uh, the reason why they're happening is because over the years they expand and contract and they do so much faster and further than copper does and so gaps are created and therefore sparks or arcing is happening which causes the heat that can cause the fire. So you want to have it taken care of. Now very quickly, I'm just going to recommend to you how to go ahead and select um, an electrician that will do this for you. You want to make sure that they have a licensed master electrician on staff. They cannot be a legitimate electrical company without having a licensed master electrician uh, that is watching over and who is responsible for all of the work done by the company's electricians and who knows and who is responsible because they are ultimately responsible for knowing the code in whatever arena in electrical they are working in. They are responsible and also they are the only ones who can pull a permit for electrical work to be done in your home. A journeyman can't do it neither and, and certainly can neither any of the apprentice years one, two, three, or four. None of them can pull it. The only people who can pull a, a permit on your home is a master electrician or you. Now that's a very bizarre way to think about it because they're letting amateur electricians go in and do the work on their own homes. Okay, fine. Um, so you can pull a, a permit on your home, but strangely enough, you cannot hire an electrician then to work on your home under that permit application. Only unlicensed or electricians that are not electricians <laughs> can work on your home. They have to be people that are uh, neophytes, people that don't really know what they're doing. Uh, because if you're going to have any electrician, be it from a one-year to print it like my cousin, his son is a, a first-year electrician, he'll come and do the work. Well, he's not allowed to. If he's a registered electrician, a first-year apprentice, he's not allowed to work without a master electrician pulling a permit on the work in that home. So you can't be doing that. So either a total amateur has to be working on your home or someone who has a full-blown master electrician working uh, or responsible for the electricians working on your home. There is no midway in between there. So you want to make sure they have a master electrician's uh, license to do that. And, and all of the electricians for any electrical company have to be registered as well. Be it a first year, second, third, or fourth year apprentice, they have to be registered with the government as first or second, third, fourth year apprentices. You also want to make sure they have all the appropriate insurances to protect you in the event that they mess something up. You also want to make sure they have workman's compensation for their guys. In the event one of them is injured, it doesn't make you liable for their injuries. So you got to make sure WCB is on there. And another good way to, uh, it seems fairly obvious, but um, is if, if the truck has a logo, like if it's painted on the truck, not a magnet that's slipped on there and off at their whim, it has to be a logo that's painted on there, then you know you're going to be going a long ways towards having all a license with the proper registration, insurances, WCB, and all that is very, very good for you. And they have to want to pull 
a permit on your home. And uh, the proper guys won't work with you if you tell them you don't want them to pull a permit. Okay, so if you're dealing with the legitimate guys, they have to be able to pull a permit on the work that they're going to do in your home, unless it's maintenance type of work. But if they're doing any, any changes to your electrical system that affects it overall, then you're going to have to have a, a pull a permit on it. Okay, so the phone number that I have here will turn you on to guys just like that. And if you're going to have somebody furthermore work on your electrical work, you want to make sure they're using Illumicons or Copalum. Uh, but the Illumicons are by far and away the most affordable and the best way to do and repair the aluminum connections in your home. And this is not just by me saying that, it's by the top engineer and scientist uh, in North America, if not the world, who has studied this stuff for well over 40 years and still studies it to this day, a fellow by the name of Dr. Jess Ehrenstein. So you can check him out online. He's got a free report that will go ahead and show you what it is, the, the proper uh, materials to use and the proper ways to do it. Okay, these guys do it by the way, the methods he recommends, the ones I'm giving you the phone number here for. So give them a call, they'll come out, they'll do a, uh, first of all, determine if you have aluminum wiring, and they will also give you a free estimate. So give them a call. Have a great day. Thank you.